It was homecoming this weekend at Ball State, and the Cardinals faced the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky for the seventh game of the regular season. The Cardinals players were fired up for this one. Let's pick things up in the first where there's about five minutes remaining. Nate Davis on Western's 38, second and 15 for the Cardinals. Davis would find Darius Hill with the grab for the 10-yard gain. Three plays later, after Ball State completed a fourth down, Nate Davis in the shotgun on Western's 21-yard line, and he'd find Lewis Johnson for the 21-yard touchdown. So at 431, Ball State leads the Hilltoppers 7 to nothing. Ball State's defense would stop the Hilltoppers. Brian Hayes dropping the running back for a two-yard loss. Nate Davis under center on Western's 40-yard line, and he'd find Dante Love for the 40-yard touchdown. So Ball State extends their lead 14 to nothing with 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Moving into the second quarter, about 11.30 left on the clock, KJ Black under center at Ball State's 12-yard line, and he'd find Hamilton for the touchdown. Western Kentucky unable to tack on the extra point, so Ball State still leads 14 to six. The game got sloppy and both teams turned the ball over. KJ Black would be sacked by Trey Bice for the six yard loss. Now two plays later, fourth and 10 for Western Kentucky, and Eddie Burke comes up with the interception for Ball State. He returns at 39 yards. On the ensuing drive by Ball State, Nate Davis' pass is tipped and it's intercepted by Dusty Bear who returns it for 16 yards. The Hilltoppers were able to capitalize and made a 46-yard field goal. And before the half, the Hilltoppers scored again with the 35-yard attempt. So at the half, Ball State leads it 14-12. Now in the third, 4.30 left on the clock. Cardinals on Western's 11. And Nate Davis would find Medirius Grant for what appeared to be the touchdown. Instead, he was ruled short, but it was good for 10 yards. Davis under center, pitches to Frank Edmonds who punches it in from the one yard line. So Ball State extends their lead 21 to 12. Edmonds feeling the love from the big guys up front. The Cardinals on the Hilltoppers 41 yard line. They fake the sweep to the right, fake out our cameraman, but Nate Davis would hook up with Lewis Johnson for his second touchdown on the day. With 119 left in the third, Ball State extends their lead 28 to 12, and the fans were loving it. Let's pick things up in the fourth quarter, where Ball State would make a goal line stand. Third and goal from the one yard line, and Haynes brings down the ball carry along with Brandon Crawford. Fourth and goal, and Western was going for it. KJ Black back to pass, and the pass would be broken up by Alex Nip, so Ball State stops the Hilltoppers. The second half was all about Ball State's defense. They did not let the Hilltoppers score. Trey Bice with the interception. His teammates were loving it. They made some adjustments at halftime, and Brady Hoke was glad to see him step up and make the play. Ball State would punch in another touchdown from the one-yard line. It was Frank Edmonds' second touchdown of the game. And Jake Hoke would come on to attempt the extra point, and it's good. Jake Hoke was 5 of 5 on the day for extra points. And the Ball State cheerleaders... Well, they were excited in this one as Ball State held on for the win 35-12. Stats for Ball State, Nate Davis 21-31 with 288 yards and three touchdowns. Frank Edmonds only 48 yards rushing but two touchdowns. Dante Love six receptions for 91 yards and a touchdown. Lewis Johnson two receptions, but hey, he made both of them count. Two touchdowns. And Brian Haynes had 14 tackles, seven of them solo. Interesting facts, it's the first time Ball State has won homecoming in six years. Nate Davis has already thrown for 18 touchdowns again this season, tying the single season record originally set by Joey Lynch in 2005. Ball State hits the road for the next three weeks, and they improve to 4-3 on the season.